two elderly West Virginians were driving along Route 250 in Wetzel County. They spot what appears to be a mannequin. But to make sure it isn't a real human, they stop to get a closer look. What they uncover isn't a mannequin, but indeed what they initially feared. There lying in the snow is the naked body of a white female. After authorities arrive, investigators learn that the body has been recently placed in the location of its discovery, and they presume that she died two days prior, at a different location. Police have two reasons to believe this. Firstly, snow is present on the ground, but not on her corpse. This suggests that she hasn't been there for very long. Secondly, tire tracks and footprints are visible in the snow, leading away from the body. Her cause of death is never fully determined by authorities, although they believe she was likely strangled or suffocated. In addition, nothing indicates that she was sexually assaulted. The woman's age is believed to be between 35 and 45 years old. Prior to her death, she was well-groomed and her hair was auburn in color. This particular detail will soon become important to detectives. A female with strawberry blonde hair is found lying beside Interstate 40 near West Memphis, Arkansas. She has been strangled to death and only a sweater remains on her lifeless body. Authorities believe the woman was murdered after leaving a truck stop, possibly hitchhiking. The investigation ensues, but she is not identified until nearly a year later, when a couple from Florida, whom the victim lived with temporarily, recognizes her in June of the following year. The victim is identified as 28-year-old Lisa Nichols. As investigators dig deeper into her past, they learn something troubling. Lisa was at odds with her family, and this inevitably led to her remaining unidentified for nine months. On New Year's Day, a rapidly decomposing corpse is discovered, this time along Interstate 75 near Jellicoe, Tennessee in Campbell County. She is fully clothed with jeans, a shirt, and a tan pullover. Freckles and burn marks are observable on the woman's body, but interestingly enough, she also has short red hair, similar to the previous victims. Indeed, at this point, it seems less of a coincidence to authorities. The unidentified woman is between the ages of 17 and 25, although some believe she's 30 years old. After an autopsy report, investigators find out that she was two to five months pregnant when she was murdered. The method used to kill her remains undisclosed. Along the side of Route 78 in DeSoto County, Mississippi, yet again the body of a woman is discovered. She wears a pinkish-orange pullover and jeans. The victim's shoes are missing. It's likely the killer took them as a trophy. On the woman's ankles are the tattoos of the initials THC and REJ, or R-E-T. Her hair is reddish to strawberry blonde. Police soon determine that the cause of her death was strangulation and she might have also been sexually assaulted. An autopsy reveals that she smoked regularly and had a habit of biting her nails. Police believe she is connected to the other murders due to her hair color. In Pleasant View, Cheatham County, Tennessee, 
The skeletal remains of a white female with red hair are found on the side of Interstate 24. She is fully clothed, wearing pants, a shirt, a sweater, and underwear. Due to the color of her hair, investigators firmly believe her death was related to the other murders. An autopsy report shows that she was between the ages of 31 and 40 years old during the time of her death. Along Route 25 in Knox County, Kentucky, a young white female's body is discovered in an old white Admiral refrigerator, likely from the 1950s, with a decal of words spelling Superwoman. The victim's body is almost entirely nude. She wore yellow and green striped socks on her feet. She's believed to be 24 to 35 years old. The woman's cause of death is suffocation, and police determine she has been dead for a few days. Reports soon surface that the victim may have been searching for a ride over CB radio so she could reach South Carolina. However, this has not been confirmed. Regrettably, she isn't able to be identified by authorities, but despite this, over 500 people heartwarmingly attend her funeral. A second victim is uncovered in Campbell County, however, this time, the body is quite a distance from Interstate 75. Furthermore, unlike the other victims, she is very young, between the ages of 9 and 15. The girl's body is found near a strip mine when someone happens to stumble upon it, 400 yards from Big Wheel Gap Road. Unfortunately, the girl's remains are partial, only her skull and 31 other bones are recovered. Although authorities can't determine her cause of death, police are certain it was likely a homicide. However, they aren't certain whether or not she can be entirely linked to the redhead murders, since they're unable to determine the color of her hair. Nevertheless, she's still considered a victim of the same killer. Again, another murder takes place in Tennessee. The body of an unidentified woman with brownish blonde hair and red highlights is discovered in Greene County. Severe blunt force trauma and a possible stab wound are the cause of her death. The woman was six to eight weeks pregnant, but miscarried before being murdered. Authorities say she was 14 to 20 years old at the time of her death. Notably, she has fillings in her teeth which indicate that she was cared for at some point during her life. Near the state border of Alabama at Rising Fawn, Dade County, Georgia, the body of a woman with red hair is discovered. She wears jeans, a dark blue pullover shirt, and black shoes. In addition to this, she wears two pieces of jewelry, a golden necklace and ring with a heart-shaped pattern. Investigators soon learn that the victim has been strangled to death and sexually assaulted. It is likely that the woman was a runaway or hitchhiker. There are several other deaths that could be potentially linked to the Redhead murders. These include other bodies that were found in Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Ohio, Texas, and North Carolina. However, there are many inconsistencies that don't match with the known victims of the Redhead murders. Two suspects come up during the investigation. One is a 37-year-old truck driver who attacked and attempted to strangle a woman with reddish hair. The second suspect is a 32-year-old trucker in Pennsylvania who is being interrogated after kidnapping and raping a young woman 
in the state of Indiana. However, both suspects are dismissed and unfortunately, investigators find no other leads in the case and the killer is still at large. If you have any information that could resolve the case of the Redhead murders, please contact the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation at 1-800-824-3463. Thank you to Shudder for sponsoring this episode of Seriously Strange. Shudder is AMC Network's premium streaming video service that provides endless horror, thriller, and suspense content for $4.99 per month or $49.99 a year. Shudder is like the Netflix of horror, and it's growing fast all the time. And you can try it for 30 days free as Shudder's gift to all my fans just by going to the description below and heading to the link to Shudder.com and entering promo code Rob Dyke. It's that simple. Then you get access to all the content you could ever ask for from movies to series to even podcasts. Some of the different types of movies they have are psychological thrillers, paranormal, documentaries, crime and mystery, sci-fi, and so much more. There's some delightfully dark things out there for everyone, including you psychopaths who are into foreign horror movies. Shudder can keep me binge-watching for hours and really feed my need for the dark. For that kind of thing, there's no better place than Shudder. And there's always something unexpected to stream, which you can do from pretty much any device you could possibly own. And don't forget, it's S-H-U-D-D. E -R. So start digging into the terror now by going to Shudder.com, linked in the description below, and entering promo code Rob Dyke. Get started with Shudder tonight, and join me in celebrating all the best horror they have to offer. Thanks for listening. That's all for now. Remember, you may not believe it, but anything is possible in a world so seriously strange. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe now because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.